Bonjour à tous, hello everyone, how are you doing? So today I'm going to talk to you about a strange problem that I have faced some time back. Have you ever had a problem where you had to take your video from this to this? So before I jump into the Premiere Pro and show you the solution, I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, the problem statement. Now, if you want to skip that part, the video is time coded, you can go to this part of the video and you can go to the exact place where the Premiere Pro part is there. Now, during December, during the Christmas period, I was in Egypt and I was in this amazing place called Luxor. And there, there is a place called Valley of Kings and there you can find thousands of years old tombs of the old Egyptian pharaohs. They're spectacular, but the light inside is not that spectacular. Yes, before you all start complaining and, and talking about shutter speed and relation with the shutter speed and LED lights flickering and all this stuff. Honestly, I'm a science student. I understand how the, the, the hearts of the electricity works, how the alternative current works, how the LED kind of switch on and off and all this stuff. Trust me, I tried all shutter speeds possible and it was the same result every time. So I came out of those beautiful tombs and I was very frustrated and very unhappy that I could not videograph them properly. So when I came home, I tried to search for a solution of it. I found some easy tricks of this one frame switch and all these things, but none of them actually worked. So finally, I found a solution that worked like a magic. And that is what I'm going to share with you. So without any delay, let's jump into the Premiere Pro. Alrighty. So as always, I've taken the privilege to load the file into the Premiere Pro. Now let's have a look at it without doing anything. So as you can see, it is completely unusable. Now what I will do is that I will do that mostly common tricks, which is basically you duplicate the file, which you can do by holding the Alt key and just drag the file up and that will make a copy of it. Now what we will do, we will make it bigger and we'll go one frame ahead with the right cursor. Then we'll take the top file and just move one frame. And then we will go to the top file and change the opacity to 50%. So now if we look at it, you will see that the flicker has reduced little bit. And let's look at the same one before. So yes, this technique has done a good job, but at least on my choice, it is still not good enough. And there is another problem of this, which is if you go to any of them and just go 100% into that one, you will see that it creates a kind of halo around the subject and around everything, which completely diminishes the sharpness of the video. The details are gone. So that is the most used technique that you will find on the internet about this. Now I will use something that is way more effective, which is a plugin. So that plugin is called Flickr Free, this one. So I will take that, I will drag drop this one here. And now you will see that you get a bunch of settings. You have to do a bit of experiment on that but I will explain the setting that worked the best for me. For me, what worked the best is to use this projection screen and the settings that I used for these ones were three for the sensitivity, 10 for the radius. Then I used the motion compensation and I used this best setting. Then I used this one as slow and sometimes better. Now, if you ask me what is the logical explanation behind it, I'm not the one who built the plugin. I will not be able to give you that, but this is something that worked the best for me. There is one thing I need to tell you and should caution you, that is this plugin works pretty well, but it does take a bit of time to render the video. Now I did it already, so it was already rendered. No problem with that. Now let's have a look at it. You see that? magic. Now let's compare that with the original video file. This is the original. And look at that. So what we will do now is that to avoid that 
we misjudge these things. I have created a little adjustment layer which has some of the color corrections and settings that I normally use. What I will do is that I will put the same setting in all of them. So I will just nest them. I will put a stabilizer into all of them. And then we will put the adjustment layer on top of it and see how it will finally look and compare them side by side after the color correction. So let the stabilizer run and we will see the final result. So while we are waiting for the stabilizer to take effect, I'm going to show you how to find the plugin. So as all the good things of life, the plugin also comes with a cost. This is called Flickr Free. I'm going to put the website in the description below. And the plugin actually cost 149 US dollar. Now to me, the result it produces, it worth every cent of it. Now let's do a quick comparison between those videos. Now you normally have to always render those files to smoothly run them. No, I do have a pretty powerful computer, but still this plugin is heavy. And to make this work properly and seamlessly, you do have to render the files. So let it render. But once it is done, the result is like a magic. So let's see how is the original file looks like. Completely unusable. Now the common trick that you can find in internet for free. Way better, but still on my eyes, far, far away from perfect. Now you will see the Deflicker plugin. You see, it works like a magic. And also the other thing, as I said, if we go and make it bigger, on the 100% you can see, the quality of the video actually did not degrade that much. Whereas the same thing, if we see into that one, you can see in the comparison, the quality is extremely poor. And especially when there is movement, you can clearly see that it feels like double screens. I will not even look at the original one as it looks so bad. Now before ending, I have added some of the split screen with and without correction shots to show you the difference this makes. Have you ever faced such a problem? What you did in those cases? I hope that I have given you an option that you can use in future. So if it has helped you and if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. That means a lot to us. And if you have not done already, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming videos. Last but not least, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'm going to see you again.